What am I saying? Your spiritual husband, they are your warriors. They are your protectors. They are your mirror. They appear to you and tell you things and discuss with you if you are in good terms with them. All right? So why they disturb is when you don't acknowledge them. That is when you start have, having this issue of somebody coming to have sex with you. Some that sex will be so sweet that they wish that uh, it, uh, it would have happened between them and a physical lover. Some, after their spiritual husband have had sex with them, they won't even allow their physical husband to touch them. Yes, because they married you in your former world. Like I normally say, we don't die, we reincarnate. So if you have had a loving relationship in the past, in your past life, and unfortunately, both of you do not, did not reincarnate together. One person came before the other. That brings about the issue of spiritual husband. Because you have made vow to each other that in we radio if I am asked to choose a husband, that you, Ikenna, will marry me again. Haven't you watched that in movies? Haven't you seen it live? Because the husband was so good to the wife. She now makes this pronouncement. And you know the word is spiritual. So the universe will sign it and seal it for them. Who knows? Some even go to the extent of, uh, what is it called? Ibuando, having a covenant with each other. That if they reincarnate, must, they must marry each other. So it's only them that know if they reincarnate, how to see each other. <laughs> how they can reconnect. So you are spiritually strong is because of your spiritual husband. When you say something out of anger and it happens, it's because of your spiritual husband. So therefore, I advise you never to cast out your spiritual husband. Do not bind. Do not cast. Rather, align and appease your spiritual husband. All you need to do is to be in good terms with him. The issue of having sex will stop, but it might not stop entirely. Makandi, spiritual husband, name me It's because you have not acknowledged him. It's because sometimes you live a certain lifestyle that he prohibited you from living while you were together in your past life. And here you are on that without him. So you felt so free, you go ahead selling your body, or you go ahead um, not acknowledging him, or he wants you to know that that covenant is still active, no matter how, no matter why, no matter when, no matter if the reincarnation was possible between both of you. So you have to be aware of his existence. So like the story I told you, you should know. Many people have had physical encounters with their spiritual husband. Some, for some of them, it is spiritual. The encounter is spiritual. Sometimes it might appear to you in the dream and introduce himself, tell you his name. Whenever you feel sad, he is there, consoling you in the dream, cheering you up. He comes to discuss with you the way husband and wife do in, in the physical. You understand? This world is so deep, it's bizarre. But many people experience this. Many women, especially in the Obwanje, in the Bialo Wazo, in the Balonje Webiwa. Dada, ndi dada. They have this spiritual spouse. Now they're very, very active. 
For me, I have. Yes, I know you are curious to know. I have. And then he's always with me. He's always protecting me. Sometimes if I want to take a decision, he might appear to me in the dream and say, this thing that you want to do, uh, don't do it. It's not going to favor you. I'm like, ah, ah. Why? He will tell me the reason why it won't favor me. I will now rescind my decision. Or I ask him, what's the way forward? He will tell me, do this, do this, do this. That is how it is. And sometimes when I behave, you will see that masculine nature in me. Some will say it's because of my ikenga. <laughs> but most times I know it's because of him. Because there are times that he needs to manifest. He will come into me. And when I behave uh, in some certain ways, you will feel that this is a man and not a woman. It happens. There are sometimes people tend to oppress me. I'll just keep quiet. I won't say anything. And if they continue with it, you won't believe now. Then I might have the strength of more than seven people. You understand? I will take up that challenge from that person. Especially Obuno Muke. Ina to Makananya. Ina Lomaka. You know, always challenging, always trying to, you know, tell me that I'm a woman, that I can't do this, I can't do that. Pertaining to some certain uh, uh, things happening around me, that is what I'm saying. I'm not talking about in terms of spirituality. You know how some of our men that are badly raised will want to dominate a woman or will simply want to impose themselves on the woman to force a relationship on her. You won't like me when I, when I react. That is what I'm trying to say. He is the one that will manifest through me. And you'll be wondering, ah, why? Look at the way she lifted this person. Look at the way she did this. Look at the way she did that. Look at the way she talked to me. Look at the way she's giving out orders to me on a telemon you will be flabbered <laughs> if there is a word like that so sometimes you should see that as a manifestation of that spiritual husband i told you he's your warrior he's your protector he's your mirror you see then when i conversed with him when he was telling me that uh, <clears throat> I shouldn't take this decision. I should do it this way. Can they fall on our Is it not the spiritual aspect? Was it not the one coming out to give me advice? Then sometimes, when we feel me, I'm not more. 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 Because it's not every time you go to Dibia that things will be revealed to you. It depends on you that is coming to the Dibia. Before you go to the Dibia, cleanse yourself. Debe on wogi aso. We lodge up a coach, give up ways based on ram one in a guinea fast away. Be over that you are going to so 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 place. You want deeper things to be revealed to you. You want solution. And then, me, me, or plus also, Dibia, if you are not expert, go back to Gilema for this way lining up inside your stomach. You expect the Dibia to tell you the color of pants you are wearing. There are some times I say, Anna, Bafa, Anna, Buchi. There is a point in time that you need to open up and tell the Dibia, this is how it is, this is how it is. Then the Dibia will use uh, his or her spiritual discretion and direct you. That one aside. So if that thing is difficult to be seen through Alpha Divination, it is when the Dibia must be sleeping, must have been asleep, the Dibia will now receive visitation. It can be from her amjotu, or it can be from her spiritual husband. It can be from her chi. It can be from undichi. You understand? It can be from uh, the spiritual guide, that's the animal. 
Many people, they are spiritual guide animals. They are very active. Have you seen a talking gorilla before? Have you seen a talking monkey before? Have you seen a talking lion? Have you seen a talk, talking tortoise? Do you think that those... Uh, <laughs> sorry, I don't want to scare you. Do you believe that those spiritual animals, they do not exist? They do. They do. So whoever, be it your child or anybody telling you that so so, so uh, animal comes to discuss or talk with them, is a, a, the spiritual guide. You don't have to be afraid. Know that that child is peculiar. Know that that person is a peculiar person. So let me not digress. This spiritual husband will come and start discussing with the wife. Let me use myself as an example. He will come and start discussing with me based on the affair that we are running the other day and we couldn't see anything. He will now come and tell me a story. In my hand, in a chop, Basalonia do to a do to a. Nequa, a lord. This is how it is. Do it this way or do it that way. Or you will just reveal things. You know, when you wake up, you'll be like, ah, this dream. <laughs> if you know who you are, you will know it's not an ordinary dream. You will know that you received a messenger. You know that uh, uh, this is the messenger. Either your spiritual husband or your chi or your undi chi. So mediums, if you are a DBI, you are a medium. The spirits come to you and talk with you depending on how uh, your level of spirituality is. That there are spiritual guides that will appear to you in their real form. One to say again, wa. You'll be so scared. Manobu ni bwante go na mo. Obu no nega hanya. Niga we stand in me. O yile zubu a wole a biya kutegi. Gini ana abe wu mo. O wagi ha wwa chok o wagi. Because if you walk on them, like I always say, so all you need to do is to be in good terms with your spiritual husband. If you have one, find out. Open us also, I'll be in a dinner in a dinner again. Then there is a problem. There is something you are not doing well. There is something he needs to tell you. Maybe he wants to tell you that he is in existence. He has been the one doing all those good deeds for you. He has been the one blessing you with money. Connection. Whatever you say comes to pass. It's your spiritual husband. Whoever fights against you and uh, later come to, uh, you know, apologize to you, you must have had one or two encounters with your spiritual husband. What can I say? When I did this thing to a uh, social person, this is what happened to me. This is as a result of what I did to this person. You understand? So it's not good to break the bonds. Even if you align and appease with your spiritual husband, he is also bound to come to you to have sex. But the sex he will have with you is not the one that will spoil things. Do you understand? It's because both of you are together. It's because he needs that acknowledgement. Do you understand? Because some people will say, after aligning and appeasing your spiritual husband, he will no longer have sex with you. Who told you? He will, but not to the extent of how he used to spoil things for you. Now the sex will bring good things. All right? That is why you see some women, they hate their husband, their physical husband. It's because now their spiritual husband, Nehemiah, <laughs> Sometimes they don't want to wake up from that dream. You understand? So, sometimes he's behind the, the blessings of the physical husband. Because a man your spiritual husband will be blessing you. Once you tell him, things are not working well for my husband, though. This, that, that, so don't worry. 
The next thing, you will hear about a contract. The next thing, you see your husband, your physical husband, having good luck or blessing. It is your spiritual husband. There are some men, uh, you know, things are not moving well for them when they married you. Sometimes it might be you have an active spiritual husband that you have not acknowledged. Some even come to, the, to him uh, in the dream and warn him. Stop sleeping with my wife. Stop sleeping with my wife. Like the one that happened to a girlfriend of mine. The husband is always running away from her on the bed. The husband will say, you are not my wife. You are not my wife. You are another woman's husband. Yes. Because now the man will be fake. That is why, men, I urge you to be spiritually sensitive. Women, be spiritually sensitive so that you will know how to face this issue. It's not something that you demonize. Look for a rooted dibia that will help you with the alignment and appeasement. Not a pastor. I have always said that all you need to do is to be in good terms with your spiritual husband. That issue of having cells will stop, but it might not stop entirely. Don't mind that pastor that tells you he will cast or bind or deliver or break the bond of your spiritual husband. Breaking it will expose you. Eh? We expose the woman to external attacks because your spiritual defendant is no longer uh, defender is no longer around you uh, and is no longer with you and this will increase your spiritual problems. Are you listening? Many ladies have suffered mostly through the issue of spiritual husband because it will make a lot of you to still be single, frustrated in your relationship, men will promise and fail you, stagnancy in relationship. You will discover that if in a silly geek, in where bona. Gabia could take in a relationship now they're happy with you. It will never end a marriage. They will always use you and dump you. Find out if you are undergoing such. Find out what is wrong. Go for spiritual consultation. It's not going for spiritual consultation and you come back and fold your arms. No, you have to do something about it. Because this is now the trend. Many people want to consult mediums. They want to consult Dibia, spiritualist. After that, you don't work, uh, do spiritual work to make amendments or to bring down your hanging blessings or to banish or to remove anything that is unwanted in your life. You just say, okay, okay, okay. There are people like that. Know that when you go to a spiritualist, a Dibia, and an issue is revealed about your life, you have to do something about it. Even if you don't have that money yet, let it be in your subconsciousness that there are some certain things you need to do to free yourself. It's a different thing that something is revealed to you and another that you ignored it and it comes to pass. Maybe up on the negative side now. It's even more. on the positive. You work towards it for that, uh, for the manifestation of that blessing, that promotion, that contract, that husband, that wife, uh, so many benefits, health benefits, it could be that. Healing. All right? So many things. It depends on... 
your heart desire. So, if you notice this, that you have a spiritual husband, do not neglect him. Because it can make a lot of women not to marry. Some will be single. Some married ones will not live in peace. Or, or, or they will have a childless marriage. Spiritual husband is one of the cause. So when you find out, do not neglect him. Look for ways spiritually to make amends. You don't uh, separate, all right? You align and appease. You can look up the word in the dictionary, please. You align and appease your spiritual husband. You don't bind and cast. You don't send fire. Because that binding and casting, it is yourself that you are binding and casting. Why? He is part of you. He is you and you are him. He is a member of your family, spiritual family. Where you are coming from. Where you reincarnated from. The person that you took a vow with in your next life. A man that doesn't beat you. A man that is so loving, that is so supportive. A man that helps you build your life, build your dream. You actualize it in your past life. Now you reincarnated without him. But he's still there with you spiritually. And if you lack the spiritual sensitivity to know, most of you start knowing from childhood. You start having that dream. You start seeing that your husband. As you grow up, both of you are growing in real life. In a place. They are your spiritual family. There's nothing to be scared of. Are you listening? There is nothing to be scared of. They are your spiritual family. A long, long, every flow, discussing with people, discussing with a man, discussing with your children, having a, a, uh, a family. It is your spiritual husband. Those children are your spiritual children. The religion, <clears throat> religion taught us how to bind and cast them. But ordinary spirituality tells you to align and appease them for your goodness, for your honor, for your riches, for your destiny. Akalaka, kocha wapota, kaya irwa lugi, kowefo, ngi wabudibia. You can't do without your spiritual husband. Know it today. Ngi wana brodibia, you can't do without your spiritual husband. He's behind your honor, your fame, your wealth, your riches, your goodness. You name it. That is why after binding and casting, you see, if you, uh, after that deliverance, you will notice that you feel so weak. But they will tell you, Ndiyofika, that is the result of that prayer. No, na alwalo. Na pela wana alwalo nisigi. That sudden weakness and the rest of it. It's because you have fired yourself. You have fired your source. How can you fire your source? How can you want to destroy your source and expect that you will live and expect that you prosper or, or flourish? You are doing so out of ignorance. But after listening to my voice today, know this that you have no business binding and casting your spiritual husband. Seek to align. Seek to appease. Guinea Adinudo. And that alignment and appeasement is a continuous process, not something you just do. It depends on your agreement and how the Dibia made it. Up every three months, you kwapulundi miligibu because it's part of your water family, also na your water family. In Egenti, also na ndi miligi. Abuna nki ingwe nke enu wadi uwa. Ine mje ichuaja miliya, ene me nke enu ane. It's part of them. Because 
on ogugu ne wan bo onye ga po nya we do onye odu we gbi oku ina ni ru ogugu we kwen kwa obu na ige ekwe nya na po ke ime uwa gi na obro ni na agbali oso ma na o ko odi ma na odi kwa ma na odi gokwalia na ibise ku uwa gi ani enu uwa na ige ana chi etakwalia una ebido kwa ebu nu kwose nya bi ko nya me bizi na ala gihe It's as simple as that. Ini oni niye. Debele ihe no digi kobo. You don't have to be scared. There's nothing scary of this. Obolo mbosi afo. Mo obolo mbosi eke. Ki igwali asia. Na mbosi eke na umuro mwoke gane eme tu gaka. No anya wangwe ubosi ya. And you make sure you keep to that. Because if you violate it. Ah. Now you know. Let me speak pigeon. <laughs> Do I make sense? Yes, I make sense. From the spiritual angle, the spiritual dimension. But this person who is not spiritually inclined will say that this woman is talking trash. That is one thing in this life. If you have not experienced it, you will never believe it. But the wise ones will listen to that experience so that if they encounter it, they will know what to do. Not that you disregard everything and say, this woman is talking gibberish. So lots of ladies are having issues of not staying with one man because of spiritual husband. A lot of ladies are facing the issue of delivery through oppression. Spiritual husband. Ma'abwa'afa. Igafo. So if you, if you marry up to 10 husbands in the, in the physical, know that you have a spiritual husband. Now when you head behind it, you are finding it difficult to marry. No, no, we head behind it. Some ladies are finding it difficult to be attracted to any male. A lot of them has been frustrated in life because of the issue of spiritual husband and many more. So every lady has to be in good terms with her spiritual husband. Being in good terms with your spiritual husband will create avenue to your success, strength, and upliftment in life. So stop creating confusion towards your future by breaking the bond with your spiritual husband. Like I will always advise you. Align. Alright? Appease your spiritual husband spouse and have peace and prosperity in life like i always tell you for many dbs spiritual husband is their source of strength spiritual husband is their, their their pillar spiritual husband is their source of power through which they get spiritual things done i believe you heard me and please digest this responsibly I know what it took from me to, uh, you know, discuss this topic on air. I know that many ladies are suffering. They are in ignorance. They have been binding and casting. And if you notice that after that binding and casting, if you see belly geeky, more than the conscious of yourself, it can fun if you be the belly geeky. Nothing works. It is it is because you have fired your source. Fire, fire, die, fire, die. You are sending yourself to an early grave. So therefore, do alignment and appeasement. Give him that day of honor. Look for a rooted dibia. I, dibia wangu, can help you. Managa, wagoda, famalo, di, di, mili, nwe, mwa, It is the spiritual consultation that will tell us what to do. So therefore, you can find me on Facebook, Dibyangwan Guchendo. I have my YouTube channel, Dibyangwan Guchendo also. Uh, you can communicate or contact me directly from uh, True ADN Radio, New York. All right? So this brings this topic to an end, and I hope you have learned one or two. And do join me, same time, same station, next week for a wonderful 
discussion that will yield good fruits in your life is by from Dibia Wangu Chendol.